Hey guys, it's Bob Morialli here with the Tuning School, and today we're finishing up at the NMCA event here at Bradenton, and I'm gonna go over the five most important parameters that you need to check after your runs at the drag strip. So the first thing you're gonna to wanna to check when you're done with your pass at the drag strip is the air fuel ratio. That's one of the most important. There's several, but probably one of the most important. So when you're reviewing your scan, you'll usually be able to see the air fuel ratio as well as the commanded air fuel ratio to see if they match. So in our case, we just finished the scan uh, and the run in our 2019 GMC Sierra 6.2 liter with a Whipple supercharger. So the air fuel ratio that we were looking for is 11.0. And so you can see during this run, we had 11.09. And so um, you'll want to check that and make sure that the air fuel ratio is commanded. That's what you want. And it's actually what you're getting with your wide band. And if you don't have a wide band, a way to verify that you're getting something rich, richer than stoichiometric anyway, is to compare it to your narrow bands that we have here in blue. And so at least by comparing to the narrow bands, you'll be able to say that it's at least richer than 14.7. But I know that's not great, but get yourself a wide band, take it to the track. All right. So the next thing you're going to want to check is going to be your spark advance. So the spark advance during your runs supercharged typically is under 20 degrees. And so here you see ours at 14 and you can watch it throughout the whole run. You see 13, 14, 15 degrees. And so this is something you would dyno tune first or come to the drag strip and sneak up on two degrees at a time. Now, correspondingly, you also want to look for knock retard. So you'll see I had a little bit here in the beginning of the run. This is little red line. I had about two and a half degrees in first gear at about 5,000 RPM on the launch. Not uncommon for that to be something like tire shake or exhaust rattle. Um, especially if it comes in the beginning here early and it goes away for the rest of the, of the session of the run. So knock retard, that's a problem you got to check. And then the last two are going to be related to if you have force induction or not, you're going to want to watch your boost levels. I know even superchargers, they're pulleyed and they should be static, but you'll at least want to know if you have a uh, belt slip. So ours, I've got our, our log here. I'll show boost on this screen of 149, 150 KPA. Uh, and an easy way to tell what that is in PSI would be to just use this little tool under tools and then unit conversion. And you take off the first 100 KPA because you have atmospheric pressure of 100 and you only have 50 KPA of boost, which equals 7.25 pounds of boost. Pretty cool, little trick. So I was running a solid seven pounds of boost throughout the whole run, no belt slip, fantastic. And the last major thing that I like to check after a run is going to be my throttle body. So especially on any newer vehicle that has a torque based computer, you'll want to make sure that your commanded throttle is matching your actual. So down here I have the yellow, which is my accelerator pedal at 100%, 99 the whole way. And then I'm comparing that to this TPS, which represents the throttle body, which only opens 84%, but that's normal and that's full. So you would see if it was a problem, it would this uh, green line for throttle would dip down and you'd have to work on the tune at that point. So those are your top five parameters that I want you to check when you're done with your run at the drag strip. Thanks for watching today's Tech Tuesday here from Bradenton Motorsports Park. We're gonna load up and head home. For more high performance tuning knowledge, be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on social media. And as always, stay tuned. We need some lighter wheels. Yeah. You know, maybe take out some of the stuff in there. We'll, yeah, we'll get that thing down in the 12. I'm gonna do a Dion close if you're ready for it. I know what I'm gonna do now. Okay, I'm good. Ready? Uh. <laughs>